In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, a happy, peaceful, and prosperous New Year to all of you. We thank God for bringing us together as one community of faith, as one church, to be renewed by His Word, by the body and blood of Christ, and by the Spirit poured into our hearts. The year opens with the solemnity of Mary, Mother of God. Just as mothers are always the first to touch our lives, so we begin our spiritual journey under the loving gaze of Mary, the Mother of God and our Mother. Mary gathers us, her children in Jesus Christ, under her care. Let us entrust to her our hopes and fears, our joys and sorrows. Today we also celebrate the World Day of Prayer for Peace. May the Savior of the world, who brings God's peace to his people, bless all of humanity with the gift of peace. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the Savior of life, the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father! So, you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went, went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God, for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing. seated.
Reverend Father Reginald Malikdem, our Cathedral Rector, dear brother priests and deacons, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We are still in the octave or the period within the eight days after the nativity of our Lord. And we continue to proclaim, unto us is born a child, a Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And tonight, as we cross over towards the new calendar year, we also celebrate the solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, as well as the World Day of Peace. We continue to be in solidarity with those who continue to suffer from the pandemic and those severely affected by Typhoon Udet, as well as the victims of violence and armed conflicts in Myanmar and all over the world. Tonight we beg the Lord for the grace of peace. The Hebrew word for peace is shalom. The word shalom does not only mean tranquility or absence of conflict, rather it refers to the totality of wellness, the fullness of life's blessings. Ang tunay na kapayapaan ay ang ganap na kabutihan at kaunlaran ng buong tao at ng lahat ng tao. Jesus Christ, light for the world and prince of peace, offers us this true peace that the world cannot give. At the same time, he also invites us to be instruments of such peace. Indeed, in his message to this year's, for this year's World Day of Prayer for Peace, Pope Francis exhorts all of us to be architects and artisans of peace. We can look to Mary, Mother of God, as our model peace builder. The Gospel tonight indicates for us three spiritual virtues that we can learn from her. Welcoming, caring, and praying. The first virtue is welcoming. Mary welcomed the shepherds into the stable where her newborn son lies in a manger. How courageous of her to allow strangers into her shelter when she and her child were most vulnerable. She received the strangers who had strange faces and strange ways, who came bearing strange stories about angelic news and heavenly songs. Pero kahit na iba sila at kahit kakaiba ang balitang dala-dala nila, tinanggap at pinakinggan sila ni Maria. At sinabi pa ng Ibanghelyo ngayong gabi, ang lahat ng narinig at nasaksihan ni Maria mula sa kanila ay iningat-ingatan niya sa kanyang puso. Hindi niya binaliwala ang mga balita at kwento nila, kundi pinahalagahan niyang mabuti. The Mother of God, kept all those things in her heart. Madalas, kapag may tao na iba sa atin, 
natutukso tayo na iwasan na lang sila. Kapag iba ang itsura, amoy, ugali, pananalita, pananaw o pinanggalingan nila, lumalayo tayo kasi ayaw natin ng gulo. Ngunit walang tunay na kapayapaan kung umiiwas tayo lagi sa isa't isa. Ang totoong pagkakasunduan ay nagmumula sa pakikipagtagpuan, sa pagtanggap at pakikinig sa isa't isa. Nang humiga ang sanggol na Diyos sa mabahong sabsaban, para na rin niyang sinasabi sa atin sa buong sangkatauhan, sangkatauhan, kahit pa anong baho mo, kahit pa anong dumi mo, kahit pa anong pagkukulang mo, papasukin ko ang mundo mo. Kahit na iba ka, tinatanggap kita at mahal kita. By a welcoming heart, Christ reconciled the world to God and inaugurated peace in the world. Kaya naman, kay gandang pagmasdan ang mga taong tumatanggap at nakikinig sa kapwa. Kay gandang makita ang mga magulang na inuunawa ang mga karanas, karanasan at saluubin ng mga anak nila at ang mga anak na nakikinig sa mga magulang nila. Kay kandang makita ang mga simbahang bukas ang mga pinto para sa lahat. Kay gandang makita ang mga tahanang Nagpasilong sa mga nasalanta ng bagyo o nagpatuloy sa mga frontliners at mga naglalakbay. Kay gandang makita ang mga lider na nakikinig sa taumbayan at pinahahalagahan ang dangal ng bawat isa. All of this are acts of welcoming signs of peace for this world. The second virtue we can learn from the Blessed Mother is caring. The shepherds found the baby Jesus wrapped in swaddling clothes just as the angels told them. Those swaddling clothes signified how Mary showered the Christ child with her motherly love and care. Yes, the Son of God also needed to be pacified and comforted by the serene face, warm embrace, and tender touch of the Blessed Virgin. By being born of a woman, by taking on the frail frame of an infant, the Prince of Peace is asking humanity to care, especially for the most vulnerable ones. Naghahari ang kapayapaan sa pagdadamayan, pagmamalasak, pagmamalasakit, paglilingkod, at pagkalinga lalo na sa mga lubhang nangangailangan. Again and again, Pope Francis enjoins all of us towards a revolution of tenderness and a culture of care. We cannot build peace simply by debates and discussions about concepts structures, and projects. True peace 
is not insured by armed personnel, advanced weapons, CCTV cameras, and other security measures. Walang tunay na kapayapaan kung mailan sa atin na isa na naisa santabi na papabayaan o na pag-iiwanan. Let us imbibe the spirit of charity. Let us sincerely care for each other. Salamat sa mga taong nagpapaabot ng tulong at pagdamay sa mga nasalanta ng bagyo at mga nagkasakit. Salamat sa mga sama-samang kumikilos upang mahihatid sa kanila ang agarang saklolo at ayuda. Salamat sa mga doktor, mga nurse, at mga manggagawa sa mga ospital na patuloy na naghahandog ng sarili para sa ating kalusugan. Salamat sa mga leader na nagsasakrifisyo para sa ikabubuti ng lahat. Salamat sa mga simpleng manggagawa na tahimik na kumakayod at nagpapagod para sa ikaunlad ng bayan at ng kanilang mga pamilya. Salamat sa mga pamilya na nagmamahalan, nagtutulungan, at nag-uunawaan. Thanks be to God for people who help build a culture of care. They are signs of peace for this world. The third virtue we can learn from the Blessed Mother is praying. Mary named her son Jesus. This was not only a sign of her obedience to the angel's bidding that her son be given the name Jesus. This was also her act of prayer for Israel and for all humankind. The name Jesus, Yeshua in Hebrew, and Aramaic is usually translated as a declarative sentence, God saves. But it can also be translated as a prayer, Lord help, God save us, Panginoon saklolo po, o Diyos Tulungan ninyo po kami. Yes, the name that the Blessed Mother gave to our Prince of Peace is a prayer, an ardent plea for divine assistance to intervene in our world. Prayer is the most fundamental act of peace building. Because true peace in heaven is heaven's gift to earth. Peace can only come from God. It cannot be produced by mere human achievement or effort. Kahit anong pagpupunyagi natin, kapag wala ang Diyos sa mga pagsisikap natin para sa kapayapaan, at kaunlaran. Pahantong lamang iyon sa bulaang kaginhawaan at kawalang katarungan. Sa panandaliang katiwasayan para sa ilang tao lamang. Kailangan natin ang Diyos upang magkaroon ng tunay na kapayapaan at kabutihan para sa lahat. We need God to offer us the peace that this world cannot give. How lovely are those knees that fall 
those hearts that open, and those hands that join in prayer. They are seeds of peace for this world. Tonight, we ask our Blessed Mother to envelope our praying hands within her own motherly hands so that she may pray for us and with us, begging God for peace in our hearts, in our communities, in our country, and all over the world. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to people of goodwill. Jesus, the Prince of Peace, is God's Christmas gift for us. Let the spirit of welcoming, caring, and praying be our resolution for this new year. In this year 2022, may the Lord bless you and keep you and give you peace. Amen. Please stand. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of heaven and earth, of all things, things visible and invisible. And I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten Son of God, born, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light, light from light, true God from true God, from true God begotten at me. Consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, who will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The new year ushers in new challenges and opportunities, as well as new hopes for a more lasting peace. Let us pray to the Father that the Prince of Peace, born of Mary, may guide us as we struggle to incarnate the gospel values in our lives. We will pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Pope Francis, all the bishops, priests, and deacons. May they be instruments of peace and unity in communities where hatred and division reign. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray our country, the Philippines. May God give us credible, honest, and God-fearing leaders who will truly work for the good of the people, especially the poor and those in the peripheries. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who are broken in spirit, mind, and body, especially our brothers and sisters who were affected by the recent typhoon. May God be their source of consolation and peace in these trying times, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer.
We pray for all those who are sick, especially those suffering from COVID-19. May the intercession of the Blessed Mother strengthen them and fill them with courage and hope. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our intentions and the intentions of all who ask for our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our humble supplications. Help us to spend our whole life in your service and to bring peace to our brothers and sisters through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
understand the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, also, remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. Amen.
understand. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year, now and forever. Amen. May he give you integrity in faith, in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end, now and forever. Amen. May He order your days and your deeds in His peace. Grant your prayers in this and in every place and lead you happily to eternal life, now and forever. Amen. And may Almighty God Bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.